Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge Circle. Today I have brought a special video for my students. These questions are a new type of question which was uh, already mentioned in the specimen paper ICSE 2024. So questions are assertion reason based questions. So I have prepared some questions for you all and we will see the, these questions. So let's begin the questions. First question is assertion. In Java, more than one method can be created with the same name. It is a statement. Reason is given. Java implements polymorphism that allows method to be overloaded. So it's possible to create uh, more than one method with same name. And uh, this process is called polymorphism. So we have four options like both assertion and reasons are true. And reason is correct explanation of uh, assertion A. Second is both assertion and reasons are true, but reason is not correct explanation of it. Third is assertion is true, reason is false. Fourth is assertion is false, reason is true. So what will be correct answer here? The correct answer is both assertion and reasons are true and reason is the correct explanation of A. Moving towards question second. Assertion is a class is known as object factory. Reason is objects are created from class which contains common attribute and behavior so we have to uh, see the options first option is assertion and reason are true but reason is not correct explanation second is assertion and reason are true reason is correct explanation of you third is assertion is true reason is false and fourth is assertion is false reason is true so the correct answer will be what yes class is known as object factory because the objects are created through class only and that's why the option B will be correct means both assertion and reason are true and the reason is the correct explanation. Let us move to the question number three. Assertion. The index of the last element of an array is equal to the number of elements. Okay. Index of the last element of an array is equal to the number of elements in the array. This is the assertion given. Ind a reason is given here. Index of an array begins from zero. So options are both assertions and reasons are true and reason is correct explanation. Second is both are true but not the correct explanation third is assertion is true reason is false fourth is assertion is false reason is true so here what will happen see the index of last element is one lesser than the number of elements not equal to so because indexing begin from zero if there are 10 elements the so first will be zero and the last will be nine so we will say that assertion is what assertion is false and reason is true Okay, so assertion is false, reason is true, both are not true. As per the option, we will go. Question number four, assertion is given a derived class can be uh, based, base class, sorry, it's mistyped, it should be base class. So a derived class can be a base class for another class. This is the statement. Reason is given in multi-level inheritance, a derived class can serve as base class. Options are assertions and uh, reasons are true. And uh, correct explanation of A is R. R is the correct explanation. Both A and R true but reason is not correct explanation of A. Third option is A and R both are false. Next one is A and A is true, R is false. And fourth option is A is false, R is true. So see, uh, derived class can be served as base class when we follow the concept of multi-level inheritance. So here our option A will be correct, fourth A. Both are true and the explanation R is correct. Question number five, do while loop always execute at least once? Okay, reason is do while loop is an exit control loop that is conditional expression is evaluated after execution. Here it is given A is true, reason is false. Here it is given assertion is and reason both are true but reason is not correct explanation. Third is both are true, reason is correct explanation and again here we have assertion is false, reason is true. So yes, do while loop is an exit control loop uh, that's why it, it execute at least once okay so here our correct answer will be fifth c option c is correct let's go to question number six statement is constructor can be inherited reason is constructor is not member of class so first option is both a and r are true reason and uh, is the correct explanation second option is both assertion and reason are true reason is not the correct explanation so, and third is a is true r is false and here a is false r is true so see can, constructor cannot be inherited it is true that constructor 
sorry the statement is constructor can be inherited so constructor cannot be inherited it is false but the reason is correct because uh, constructor is not the part of the mem uh, class it's not a member members are variables and methods only so here the option d will be correct Co assertion is false and reason is true question 7 increment and decrement operators are binary operators increment and the reason is given here increment decrement operator require only one operand so here both assertion and reasons are true reason is correct explanation next one is not correct explanation again option c is assertion is true reason is false d is assertion is false reason is true see increment and decrement operators are not binary operator they are unary operator because they require only one operand so accordingly which option will be correct here it will be correct D because assertion is wrong and the reason is true. Going to question number 8. Statement assertion value of a variable cannot be fixed. Variable the value of the variable is not fixed but it can be or not that we have to see cannot be fixed. Reason is a variable's value can be fixed by using final keyword. Options again both reason and assertions are true and reason is the correct explanation of a here both reasons and assertions are true and reason is not the correct explanation of a third is a is true r is false fourth is a is false r is true so here accordingly uh, what will be the correct answer value of a variable cannot be fixed it is what false okay value of a variable uh, cannot be fixed it is false it can be fixed and the reason is the, uh, true so we will go with option d what is the correct option option d assertion is false and the reason is true question 9 pure method is also known as accessor and uh, this is statement reason is pure method doesn't change the state of object both assertion and reasons are true and it is uh, reason is the correct explanation of a Again, both assertion and reason are true, but uh, reason is not correct explanation of A. Third option is A is true, R is false. Fourth is A is false, R is true. C, pure method is also known as accessors. Yes, they are known as accessors. It is true. Pure method doesn't change the state of object. Yes, really it doesn't change the state of object. That's why it is pure. So option A is correct. Okay. Last question of this uh, video. Assertion, a local variable can't use any access specifier reason is local variable is declared in method or in, in any constructor or a block okay so uh, first option is assertion is false reason is true next one is both are true but the reason is not correct explanation third is assertion and reason both are true and reason is correct explanation of a fourth is assertion a is true and reason r is false so accordingly what will happen yes a local variable uh, doesn't require any access to file because it is declared in a block so its scope is up to the bl block so there is no use of access specifier in a local variable so here option c will be correct both assertion and reasons are true and and the correct explanation of assertion is reason r